Chrysler LeBaron and Dodge Diplomat are two new exceptional luxury cars, engineered by Chrysler, which offer your customers a mid-sized car with an efficient use of interior space. Both cars reveal some exciting new technical features which will appear soon on other Chrysler products. We'll cover these and a few other important technical highlights which are found in the body, chassis, engine, and fuel system. LeBaron and Diplomat are distinctly styled with many fine exterior and interior appointments. The cockpit-styled instrument panel features full instrumentation and is designed for easy servicing from the driver's seat. To gain access to the various internal components, you simply place the selector lever in first. Be sure to disconnect the battery before you service the instrument panel. Remove the screws at the bottom and at the top of the cluster carrier bezel. This differs from the Aspen and Volari instrument panel since no retaining clips are used at the bezel top. With the cluster bezel off, you can remove the heater or air conditioning controls and the radio. Both the speedometer cluster and the separate gauge cluster can be removed by taking out a couple of screws. Behind the cluster, light bulbs plug into a printed circuit board, giving access for removal and replacement. Access to headlight, wiper, and heated backlight switches is gained by removing the plastic modules attached to the cluster carrier assembly. Located behind the instrument panel is the control unit for the intermittent or adjustable time delay wiper system. This optional convenience feature has five operating modes, off, delay, low, high, and with the toggle switch pressed down, wash. Now let's see how the adjustable delay mode works. Place the switch in delay, and the wipers wipe the windshield in one complete cycle, then return to the park position. After two to 15 seconds, the wiping cycle is automatically repeated without having to touch the switch. The delay mode is adjustable by moving the lever between the off and low detents. This controls the amount of time between the wipes. The wiper switch is attached to the plastic module and can be separated from the module by removing a couple of screws. Fuses and the turn signal flasher are readily accessible by removing the snap-in door. If additional access is required, Take out seven screws and remove the lower panel cover. Each of these components plugs in for easy replacement. The air conditioning system used on LeBaron and Diplomat is the same design as found on Aspen and Volari models. This blend air air conditioning system features a blower motor you can service from inside the car, a foam band insulated evaporator which slides in and out on grooves for quiet operation and a snug fit, a high capacity heater core which also is encased in a sound absorbing foam band, and a compact lightweight evaporator heater housing featuring a one piece design which prevents condensate leakage inside the car. The housing lid and walls have baffles designed to improve heating and cooling balance and airflow travel. One other highlight on the instrument panel is the new optional quartz crystal digital clock. The clock works continuously with the digital display appearing when the ignition switch is on. An additional convenience feature is a rocker switch which enables separate hour and minute reset. Access is available upon removal of the glove box. Electrical hookup is through a snap lock connector and three screws mount the clock to the glove box. LeBaron and Diplomat use the familiar Unibelt passenger restraint system on all two-door as well as four-door models. Each model uses a different belt arrangement, but both versions use the pendulum-type restraining mechanism. A new refinement to the system is the belt tension reliever release, which prevents the webbing from being caught under the door and becoming soiled or damaged. This feature works off a spring-loaded button, which operates a cable connected to a cam in the tension reliever. When the door opens, the spring causes the cable to actuate the cam and disengage the mechanism. With the door closed, the tension reliever can be reset to the passenger's comfort. 
keep in mind that on all models, there are separate mechanisms for the car's left and right sides. Be sure to use the correct part number when replacing either assembly. Another new body feature included on LeBaron and Diplomat are the door latches. They use a plastic encapsulated ratchet for quieter door closing. Servicing is the same as previous latches, but note a smaller size striker is used with this new door latch. Windows use the familiar single post guidance system, where just two assemblies move, the regulator and the lift channel. This provides for low cranking effort and a simplified adjustment. Adjustment procedures are the same as on Aspen and Volari, as outlined in your service manual. Door fit and alignment procedures are the same as those used on our other cars. For both two-door and four-door models, in and out adjustment is provided by hinge attachment to the door. Fore and aft, as well as up and down adjustment, is obtained at the hinge attachment to the body. You'll have to remove the fender splash shield to make this adjustment. These bolts can be reached using an ordinary socket or box type wrench. Hood and deck lid adjustment is similar to our other models. Rubber bumpers adjust hood height at corners for flush fit with fenders. Side to side adjustment is accomplished by loosening the hinge to body attaching bolts. The attaching holes are oval and slightly oversized, allowing for considerable side movement. Also oval shaped and oversized, are the hood to hinge attachment holes, which provide fore and aft and a very small amount of up and down adjustment. Deck lid hinges provide only a very slight fore and aft and side to side adjustment. The deck lid latch assembly has two elongated holes held in place by two bolts and allows for up and down movement. The striker has elongated holes for horizontal movement and should be centered with a latch. Make sure the latch is adjusted vertically in order to close properly and assure a good seal. LeBaron and Diplomat are equipped with the isolated transverse torsion bar front suspension, which provides the ride and handling characteristics approaching full-size cars. The components and their service should be familiar to you, as it is the same suspension system as used on our Aspen and Volari models. But let's briefly review torsion bar height measurement and adjustment. Torsion bars are measured from the lower control arm pivot bushing to the floor. Check the reference book for the specification. The maximum allowable side to side difference is one eighth of an inch. Front height adjusts by turning the adjustment bolts clockwise to increase height and counterclockwise to lower the height. Incidentally, the adjustment for the left torsion bar is on the right side of the chassis and vice versa. Be sure to jounce the car after each adjustment and before you take the measurements. Front suspension height is also a factor in determining front bumper height. Front bumper height must meet federal regulations and is very important in maximizing the effectiveness of the energy absorbing units. Before measuring bumper height, make sure the fuel tank is full tires have proper pressure, and front suspension height is correct. Jounce the car and take the measurement on both sides. The rear bumper is measured in the same manner as the front. The adjustment procedure for both bumpers is the same as on Aspen and Volari models and can be found in the service manual. Also, information regarding the front and rear brake system is contained in the reference book. The rear suspension completes our coverage of chassis features. It too is the same as the Aspen and Volari, featuring rear leaf springs mounted asymmetrically, ISO clamps that cushion springs in rubber, and oval bushings, which reduce starting and stopping shocks, as well as isolating noise from the body. Big news under the hood is the new 318 electronic lean burn system. Electronic technical advances have led to a second generation spark control computer. It now consists of one integrated circuit board which computes all the vital information that controls the ignition system. It also simplifies a few components. For example, a single pickup coil, similar to the one used on our electronic ignition system, signals the spark control computer. 
The single pickup sends the signals for both the start and run modes directly to the computer. Air gap is set at six thousandths, the same as in our regular electronic ignition distributor. But keep in mind that although they look the same, the pickups are not interchangeable because of different mounting plates used. The new spark control computer eliminates the need for centrifugal weights as all timing advance is controlled electronically by the computer. Although the dual ballast resistor appears to be used, only the 5 ohm side is functional. The spark control computer now performs the half ohm side function. The second generation lean burn system can be diagnosed using point to point testing or with the lean burn analyzer. The fuel system is the same as our 77 models and requires propane assist for proper idle adjustment. Now that you've seen a sampling of the major technical features found on LeBaron and Diplomat, we're certain you'll agree these are two exceptional automobiles giving us a new look of leadership.